see how Omni channel works along with the web chat and how offline chat works. So just to give you a demo, I am on the community by some different user and let's say someone is in service cloud and they have Omni channel component added at the service console and there are multiple statuses. I could be available, let's say for the cases for lead. So depending on which object I am available, I can select those status so like available for chat, available for case, available for lead. In this case, let's say I'm saying available for chat. If someone is on community or any public website and let's say they are trying to connect to the service agent, they will click on at the bottom here, say chat with an expert. And once you click here, uh, pre chat form will open where you can provide first name, last name, email, and subject you can say test video and some email address. So let's say g at the rate at gmail.com. And <clears throat> as agent is already available, I will say start chatting. It will say agent is on a way. And as you can see, I am able to see, I am able to hear audio and it is saying that, uh, okay, someone is trying to connect with me. I say accept here. So on the basis of accept, if you see existing uh, information, I will open so existing contact. So it already able to detect that who is the contact, Rose. And if you see here, uh, it's the same user. I will say, hey, uh, how are you? Uh, enter. And you see that we got a text here. I will say, okay, agent is saying I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And the same way, if you see, uh, let me have it side by side to make it a lot clear. And now <clears throat> I'm saying, I will say, great. To, so if you see, when uh, the customer is typing, I'm able to get the sneak peek that what the customer is trying to write so that I would prepare for my answer. The service agent would be prepared for answer. Say great to hear that you are doing well. So if you see, I enter here. Now I get the notification. So let's see if I have multiple console tab open here, I can easily see where the notification is coming up. So this is the uh, overall functionality. Let's in the chat. I'm saying confirm chat ended. Close chat. Now all the information are available in the object chat transcript, and I can take an action whatever I want to. So let's go back and see how what are the settings available here. So first thing I have to do is uh, I have to enable chat. So I have to go on chat settings. Uh, you have to enable chat. Uh, make sure that uh, make the note of whatever chat uh, API endpoint you are having. Now what I have done is I have created this lucid chart uh, to clarify some of the concept here. So basically this is the summary of the status that we have to do. So first of all we have to create a queue. We have to assign the users to those queue and while creating the queue we they, the question is asked is what are the supported objects so let's see uh, how our queue looks like so i have created a queue here and queue name is web support <clears throat> the supported object is trans chat transcript and the users on those queue is myself the only one user jitendra is now going back we have to create a presence status and while you create a present status you have to select the service channel so first we need to create a service channel so if you go here uh, i have i should have already a service channel created so, let, so this is the service channel and in service channel you have to say that this channel is created for which object so i'm saying this service channel created for the chat transcript so if you go on this diagram, this service channel is created for chat transcript. And now we have to associate service channel with present status. So if I go back here and this is our present status. So I'm saying this present status is associated with this channel. And at the profile level, we have to go and we have to say which user can access this present status. So if I, for example, if I go at profile level 
and let's see the system admin here so in the system admin profile or you can choose any uh, any service cloud user if you see i should be having okay let me go back to the bottom somewhere so if you see here uh, enable service presence status so there are three status that i can access so if you go back on this diagram <clears throat> so right side you have service channel present status profile user on the left side you have a queue user supported by combining this salesforce is able to see that okay the incoming chat is on this custom object which is let's say the chat now there are multiple user logged in and those users are the part of this queue and the same user let's say is also part of the same present status so by combining these two uh, information salesforce is able to understand that okay the logged in user has this service enabled this user is a part of this queue uh, and so let's assign the incoming chat to uh, this user so that's how we are able to see which user is online which user is offline so i will say let's take a pause on this video and try to understand what is happening one side we have queue user and which objects are supported another side we have present status and indirectly the object so incoming chat is coming for let's say the uh, chat transcript how many users are available decides on the basis of how many users have this present status and how you many users are already active omni channel needs a queue and the user is a part of that queue <clears throat> so we already saw the demo uh, so let's see how we can add that live chat on our community so i have a mini community available in my developer org and uh, if, let me see if i already so i already have community builder you can go ahead here say go on the work builder here you can add the component and one of the component that i have added is this component so if you see when you add this component name embedded service chat you have to choose the chat deployment it is also known as a uh, embedded service so all you have to do is search for embedded service and if you go on embedded service uh, i already have the usa major chat uh, so let's view this and in this you can do a lot of settings so for an example you are saying that okay uh, enable the chat setting uh, you can enable the branding that how uh, the chat information and how uh, chat window should look like and then you can also have uh, let's say if i click on edit here it is saying that a okay, pre chat is enabled and for the pre chat let's ask for name email subject and web email and that is the reason if you go back on my community side uh, let me see here if i click on the chat with an expert it is asking me few fill to fill so it's first name uh, last name email subject and web email this is exactly the same number of fill that i have enabled here and also you can enable uh, offline so basically what will happen is uh, first of all to enable the offline mode you have to give the guest access support api you also have to make sure that web 2 case is enabled and once you activate it and no none of the user is available then it will directly create a case from live chat so let's say i'm saying grant access here enable i'm saying let's enable this so once it is enabled offline support offline support is active <clears throat> now uh, what i will do is i will go on my there is so here i will mix myself uh, let's offline that means i'm not available and in my deployment let's see let me close this on my embedded service i said that offline mode is enabled now let's refresh this page.
now it says contact us it does not the text is different this time i am saying okay subject is a uh, test offline capability of the chat on april 1 and some email address 